you merry messmakers, there's good news! Here are 10 proven tricks that can help you clean your house faster. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average person spends nearly two hours a day doing household chores. When you consider the fact you've got 24 hours in a day, eight of which should be spent sleeping, and another eight at school or work, then it seems like we're spending a lot of time keeping our houses tidy. Of course, the simple and easy solution to this is what? Hey, hire people to come and do this for you, right? But hey, if that's not in your budget, then here are 10 tips and tricks from the pros to help you get it done quick and easy. Now, before you get that mop out, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to join us on the bright side. Here's tip number one. Start with decluttering. You see, a lot of people skip this step simply because it's so easy to throw something haphazardly into a closet or a drawer. But that's how clutter begins and turns into a giant task later on. The best thing to do is to start by decluttering before you even think about scrubbing anything down. Go one room at a time and put away everything that doesn't belong in a certain place. You know, everything should have a home, right? So put away your books, toys, clothes, and electronic devices until you're left with a tidy room. Number 2. Use a trash bag. Now, going off that last note, a trash bag will be your best friend when it comes to decluttering your entire home. Always carry one with you as you're picking up in case you come across anything that you can throw away, whether it's actual trash or not. A good rule of thumb is that if you haven't used something in the past 10 to 12 months, chuck it or donate it. This will prevent clutter from piling up. You can also just empty all the smaller trash cans, like in the bathroom or work area, into the larger bag. This will save you the time of going around and pulling the little bags out, putting in new ones, and carrying them all to the large trash bin. Whew. Number 3. Bring a cleaning carrier with you. Before you start cleaning, you first need to gather up all your tools. You don't need a whole arsenal of cleaning supplies or anything. Just keep in mind that a disinfectant for hygienic purposes, bleach, and a lime scale cleaner for the bathroom, glass cleaner, furniture polish, cleaning cloths or paper towels, and a scrubbing brush definitely come in handy. I know, I know, let's just call it a small arsenal, or even weapons of mass disinfection, and move on. Put all your cleaning items in a basket and carry it around with you in every room. This will save you the hassle of running to wherever you keep your cleaners each time you need one. Number 4. Dust first, vacuum last. Dirt and crumbs fall on the floor when you dust and clean all the surfaces. So it's pretty useless to vacuum first because you'll only add new dirt on the clean floor whenever you wipe everything down. That just means you gotta sweep your floor a second time. Ah. Dust first, vacuum last, and save yourself from wasting time and repeating steps when you don't have to. Number 5. Plan your movements. Whenever you walk into a dirty room, it can be a little overwhelming trying to figure out where to begin. You might start cleaning one part of the room and then notice something on the other side and run over to take care of it. Or you might just touch the areas that look dirty. But bacteria and dust are hiding in every nook and cranny in your house, so you have to clean it all. Start by going into every single room in your house and moving from left to right. This way, you can clean your whole house thoroughly without missing any spots. Number 6. Spray and let it sit. Here's a real lifesaver when it comes to surfaces you typically have to scrub, like the stovetop and shower. When you walk into a room, start by spraying all the surfaces, moving from left to right. Go to the next room and repeat the same thing without wiping anything away. Once you've finished with all the rooms and the product was left on the surface long enough to break up any stubborn mess, 
go to the first room you sprayed and start wiping away. This will save you so much time while leaving all your surfaces clean and shiny without the fuss of scrubbing. Number 7. Don't forget the baseboards. The baseboard collects a lot of dust really fast, yet it's one of those things you tend to miss because they're not that important or decide to skip entirely because you gotta crouch down to clean them. However, if your house is clean but your baseboards aren't, then your home still looks dirty. It's like walking into a restaurant and seeing baseboards covered in dust. You'd probably assume the whole place is dirty even if it's not, right? So, while you're wiping the surfaces around the house, take a damp cloth and wipe the baseboards from the left side of every room to the right. It'll only take you a minute tops for each room, but it'll make a huge difference in your house. Number 8. Vacuum Upholstery Couches, armchairs, and mattresses can have more than 10,000 dust mites living on the surface. These dust mites feed off dead skin cells that are left on the area, and they're constantly multiplying. Yow! Even though you may not be allergic to dust or mites, they can still trigger allergies in the future. That's why it's important to vacuum your furniture once a week to keep dust mites and bacteria away. Number 9. Use dish soap as glass cleaner Believe it or not, dish soap can leave sticky surfaces crystal clean, and it gets rid of scale buildup on bathroom windows and mirrors much better than glass cleaner. Dish soap was made to clean food residue left on plates, glasses, and silverware to make it look brand new and shiny again. It does that thanks to special detergent molecules that, when dissolved in water, can create a sort of super molecule that makes any dirt, grease, and residue on a glass surface get absorbed by the water. It's a cheaper substitute for typical glass cleaners, yet still leaves your windows and mirrors sparkling. Number 10. Clean appliances right after use. Clean your stovetop, oven, toaster, and microwave after each time you use them. Don't put it off until your next major cleaning day, because that stuff just builds up and gets harder and harder to scrub clean, which means a bigger task and wasted time in the long run. Appliances for food prep are especially prone to stubborn stains because any spillage or spots left over after one use will cool down if they're not taken care of immediately. Once they've heated back up with the next use, they set themselves in firmly and become almost impossible to remove without damaging the surface of the appliance. Just clean it up after each use, not before because your food might absorb the cleaning chemicals, and you'll avoid all the headache and save time in the end. Bonus: A helpful cleaning schedule to get your life on track. When it comes to cleaning, Regular maintenance is key if you want to save time and energy. Here's a nice cleaning schedule to get you started. Daily chores Make the bed Clean and sanitize kitchen and bathroom surfaces Do the dishes Yeah, I know Tidy up your workstation Do laundry if necessary Weekly chores Sweep and mop the floor Vacuum upholstery and mattresses Change and wash the bedding. Clean the bathroom tiles, shower walls. Clean the windows and bathroom mirrors. Deep clean kitchen appliances. Wipe down the baseboards. Wash bathroom and kitchen towels. Monthly chores, dust and clean light fixtures. Clean the dishwasher. Clean the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yep, clean your cleaner. Throw out expired food. Clean the fridge. Wipe down the inside and outside of kitchen cabinets and drawers. Clean the trash cans. Dust furniture like chairs, tables, bed frames, the entertainment center, and so on. And a final tip. Always remember to whistle while you work. Hey, it worked for Snow White. And she had seven little slobs to clean up after. So, do you have more tips on how to clean a house faster? Tell us in the comments below! 
Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of life.